What's up, Ben with Wad Prep here, and today we're gonna talk about handstand push-ups. Specifically, making sure that you don't get stuck at the bottom. So really quick, if you are trying to improve your handstand push-up performance, if you are trying to knock out kipping and strict handstand push-ups without any problems, make sure you go to wadprep.com slash HSPU to get my free handstand push-up training course. It's a little mini course I made to specifically help you get better at handstand push-ups. Let's talk about one of the major, major mistakes that I see when it comes to learning handstand push-ups. I see a lot of people that have a tendency to rest at the bottom. What happens is they kick up, they're coming down for their handstand push-up and they get to the bottom and then they relax and then they try to push themselves back up. Here's the reason this is really hard. I'm gonna use an analogy here. Have you ever tried pause front squats or have you ever tried pause back squats? Basically that's where you squat all the way down to the bottom, hold for a second or two or three and then try to stand back up. It's a lot freaking harder than just going to the bottom and standing straight back up. Let's talk about the handstand push-up. When I'm doing a handstand push-up, I'm tight. My shoulders are tight, my, my core is tight, everything is activated. If I lower myself all the way down to the bottom and then relax, that means I'm loosening my shoulders, I'm maybe even relaxing my core. What happens is the only way that I'm able to push myself back up, the only way I'm able to extend back up and lock out for that good rep is I have to regain all of that tension. So you had the tension, you lost it by relaxing at the bottom, and now you have to regather all that tension to push yourself back up. So instead of doing that, what I'm telling you to do to drastically improve your handstand pushups is to lower yourself down, just barely touch that head to the mat, the ab mat or the floor, or whatever you're using at the bottom of your rep, touch your head, and then go straight back up. So I'd like to call it a touch and go. So instead of relaxing at the bottom, just touch right back up. You never lose tension, and I guarantee that's gonna help improve your handstand push-ups. Now when you're doing kipping handstand push-ups, it can be a little bit different. The bottom can be treated as a rest, but I still would highly recommend resting either off the wall, as in you hop off the wall and you shake it out, or you can actually rest with your arms locked out overhead. When your arms are locked out, when you, you have a full lockout and you have the correct shoulder mobility, it actually is a little bit easier to rest in that position than it is sitting on your neck or sitting on your head. So in order to improve your handstand pushups, think about touch and go. Just touch your head straight back up, don't lose tension, and I promise you that is going to help improve your handstand push-ups, especially if you're doing strict handstand push-ups in the middle of a workout. Remember, if you want to learn more about how to do both strict and kipping handstand push-ups and improve your performance so you can RX your next workout, make sure you go to wadprep.com slash HSPU, and I'm gonna deliver a free handstand push-up training course. Also, be sure to click here or click the button below to subscribe to the Wadprep YouTube channel. That way you don't miss any more of the coaching videos that I'm gonna be releasing soon. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. And last but not least, leave a comment and let me know what you thought. Has this video helped you at all? How do you like doing your handstand pushups? I will talk to you next week and thank you so much for watching.